Start off, I still have a little bit of laryngitis, and my kids are playing behind me if you hear them scream, and that's what it is. But let me just talk real quick about transferring money digitally. And I'm not talking about, uh, you know, bitcoins and those types of digital currency. I'm talking about, you know, in my case, U.S. dollars to U.S. dollars from, an, from a bank account to a bank account, okay? And there's lots of different ways to do this. And I've only done it a couple times myself, but I find myself more and more uh, finding this type of thing useful. People don't have to write checks. People don't have to uh, give me cash if they don't have the cash. I can give people cash just by transferring the money. But two main things I want to point out about this. Again, lots of different services out there. There's Google Pay. There's Apple Pay. There's um, PayPal. There's Zelle, I think it's called, recently someone mentioned to me. Uh, all these different things. And, and I, even I, my, I have a bank account through my bank account. If you're saying to somebody that also has an account through that bank, it's very easy to transfer money. I've never actually done it but I know people who have. But two things. One, you should never pay a fee uh, for personal use. Commercial use is different, and using credit cards is different. But if you're doing it from bank account to bank account, you should just need your bank account number or just your debit card, and you should be able to transfer, send some money or receive money, and there shouldn't be any fees. Uh, I know this is true with um, Google Pay. And again, Google Pay is just the one that I'm familiar with. I know a lot of people don't like Google. I'm just recommending it. And you just need a Google account, which most people do. Even if you don't like or use Google, you probably have a Google account, have at some point. You just need to log into that. And to pay somebody, you just need to put in a debit card number. To receive money, you probably need to link it to a um, real bank account that you can transfer the money in, I think. I'm not sure. Otherwise, you can just have it go into your Google Pay account and stay there, your Google Wallet. Um, but so number one, you should never have to pay any fees. Number two, you should never have to install an app. And that's true about most things. So many people install any app on their phone, and then they complain that their batteries are slow, you know, die fast, their phone's running slow, that they, they got some sort of virus on their phone, something malicious happened to it. Your phone can already do 99%, and same with desktop computers, whatever device you're using, phones, tablets, desktop computers, laptops, whatever, should already be able to do 99% of things you're going to do without having to install anything extra. There are times, obviously, you're going to have to install something extra, but this is not one of them. So, for example, again, Google Pay... You can install the Google uh, Wallet app. I, it used to be called Wallet. I don't know if it's called Google Pay now. I don't know because I don't install it on my device. And you can use that to pay and receive people money. Also, right, I haven't used Gmail in a while, but at least back in the day, and I'm pretty sure they still do, if you use Gmail, there's a little dollar sign button. You click that, you can send or request money from somebody through an email. And it just goes to them. They don't have to have anything installed. You don't have to have anything installed. Basically, it sends them a URL they click on, and they can type in their debit card number, and it will transfer the money over from their bank account. No fees. Don't have to install anything. Again, I think you need a Google account, but that just takes minutes to create an account, and then you can transfer money over. So you don't need to pay fees. You don't have to install things. So I, I one app that people use a lot, and I don't know anything about other than people talking about it, and I'm assuming you need an app because they call it the Cash App. Uh, and I didn't use that because I don't need to install anything on my device. And you shouldn't have to install any device to transfer money. Again, with the Google Pay, you can install the Google Wallet app or the Google Pay app, whatever they're calling it these days. But I can also go pay.google.com on my desktop, on my phone, on my tablet, just in the web browser. And I can just click send, receive money. And I can send someone a request. It sends them a URL they clicked on. They type in their debit card number or if they already have an account set up with Google. And they transfer it and I can go into my Google Wallet, or I can have a transfer straight to my regular checking account with my bank. Um, so, again, there's lots of options out there. I'm not saying one's better than the other, but you should never have to pay fees, and you should never have to install anything. If you need to send me money or request money from me, um, like I said, I use the Google because most people, I'm not saying everybody, most people have Google accounts already, so yeah, there's nothing to set up. If I don't have, if you use a different one and you want me, you need to send me money, I, I might consider creating an account through them and doing it so that we can do it that way. Um, thing is, it's just, if I'm only going to do it once, it's not worth creating the account in most cases, but I will if it only takes a couple of minutes to set up the account and I don't have to pay anything and it's easy to use. Um, again, I'm just using Google Pay as an example because it's what I use. Literally, you have a Google account. I can send you a link. Uh, as far as you sending me money, it's that simple. You just I request money, you type in your debit card number. Uh, to receive money, 
you need to set up your account, I think you have to have it linked to a, another bank account. Um, I think. I'm not even sure about that. But it's super simple. But again, I'm not saying that Google's the best or the only option out there. If a lot of people use Apple Pay, I don't know much about Apple Pay. I don't have any Apple accounts. If someone really needed to transfer me money or they really needed me to, well, if they really need, if I'm sending you the money, you should accept what I'm requesting. And same with me. If, if I need money, you need to send me money. <clears throat> I'll be like, okay, you're going to send me money you want me to create. As long as I just have to go to a web page and create an account and I know that this is a reputable company, that's the thing. It's like, if I don't, if I don't, if I'm not familiar with the company, even though I don't like Apple, I don't think they're going to steal my money. I'll be glad to go and create an account. Thing is, I have to link my bank account to it. So that's my only iffy part. So again, like other ones like Zelle or Cash App, I don't know who these companies are. I'm sure they're okay, but I'm not familiar with them and I'd rather not use them if I don't have to. So two main requisites, again, shouldn't cost anything and shouldn't have to install anything to use it. And then the third one is I should be familiar with whoever this company is. And maybe it's just through the bank uh, or Apple. Again, I'm not a big fan of Apple, but I don't think they're going to steal my money. Uh, or Google. Or PayPal. PayPal, they claim that it's free, but I once had someone try to transfer me money and it charged like a 50 cent fee or something like that. And I tried contacting PayPal and they didn't respond. The only reason I have a PayPal account is for buying stuff on eBay because it's the easiest way to pay for stuff on eBay. Other than that, they really suck as far as customer service. They say they don't charge anything for money transfers, but they did. The person might have used a credit card and that might have been the issue. Um, I don't know. But that's just my thoughts. If you guys have any comments below on what you like to use, let me know in the comments below. But again, if you have to install anything, I'm not interested. Uh, and if it, they charge anything, I'm not interested, you know. So I'd love to hear what you guys think. Again, sorry about my voice. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.